Yo, what's good, YouTube? It's Boardsy, and 2022 is going out with a bang in terms of mice. This is going to be an unboxing, initial impressions, just discussion of the G-Wolves HSK Pro 4K Edition. Because, to put it simply, this mouse has legit been blowing up. I'll put their response on the screen right now, but essentially G-Wolves got a faulty batch of batteries that can't handle fast charging. So what I'm going to do, you can call me a pussy, I am going to take apart the mouse and swap out the battery to one from the HSK Plus. That will not potentially blow up on me when I'm charging it, dude. Um, but yeah, first things first, this mouse is super fucking tiny. It is a fingertip grip only mouse. And uh, yeah, even compared to their old HSK, I guess I'll just quickly do a shape comparison it is insanely small okay the mouse surgery has been conducted everybody leave a like for the hsk plus i had to sacrifice here is the potentially faulty battery i don't even know g wolves did say that they sent emails out to people whose orders were affected but since this is a review unit i was just playing it safe one of my biggest fears is an electrical fire so i just don't want that i'm sure a lot of people are wondering if this mouse is safe in general and i would say for future batches yes g wolves is going to switch back to their old supplier or just off of the shitty supplier so there should be no risk of the mouse blowing up but for the first batch with the stock batteries i would advise against it um, either just get the refund or the replacement battery or the replacement mouse. I believe they're offering all three of those. The mouse itself, though, is pretty wild. It is under 30 grams wireless, 4K Hertz polling rate compatible. From my initial impressions, the side buttons do seem to be improved as well compared to the HSK Plus, and the shape is just so small. It curves in towards the front. The shape kind of reminds me of the 15 gram mouse I reviewed from around a week ago. Um, just a very box feeling shape with extremely low button height pretty nice to control in terms of the feeling the shape and weight really good for a fingertip mouse in terms of the user experience for a hundred and eighty dollar mouse that leaves a good bit to be desired the quality of my unit seems to be solid there's no noticeable like side flexing or creaking the click quality is nothing um, superb there's definitely a good bit of like pre and post travel and also like side to side play so really not a high quality click feeling but it's like you know the buttons work and it does take more time to really test the full quality of the G-Wolves mouse that's why this isn't a full review this is just talking about really the crazy battery situation but yeah stay tuned for the full review where I will answer the question of whether or not the mouse is the bomb whether or not the mouse is fire um it very well could be too small it's something I noticed in my testing like it does seem very crammed just like look at the size of this mouse compared to my hand obviously it's going to be small but very interesting nonetheless for the price it's hard to be like yeah absolutely Absolutely go buy this especially given the nightmarish situation from the first batch but honestly I think G Wolves is handling the situation about as well as they could being very upfront about the issues and not doing a recall but offering people either replacement batteries or replacement mice um, but yeah be sure to let me know what you guys think of the situation pretty wild at this point after swapping the battery I am not too concerned about it but stay safe make sure to stay safe in these streets in these gaming streets but that's going to be all for this video once again full review coming soon where i'll talk more about the shape the performance and just all of that this was just to address the uh crazy situation but that's going to be all like and sub if you enjoyed and peace